Hello and good afternoon students wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Welcome to induction program 2020 at the Technological Institute of Textile and Sciences Bhivani. I'm sure when you have made this choice you must have done a lot of homework. I'm sure by this time you know that TITS is an institution which has made a glorious journey of 77 years. Well, it was established in the year 1943 by the great doyen of Indian industries, Dr. G.D. Birlaji. Over the last 77 years, TITS has served the nation in multiple ways. It has provided tremendous support to the human resource pool of this country, and in the meantime, it has also produced best-in-class engineers, bureaucrats, social activists, name anything. Without making much ado, now I will take you directly to the office of the director TITS Bhivani for his message to you all. Let's join him. Dear students, I welcome you all to the TITS at your first student's orientation program. I also wish to congratulate you all for choosing TITS in place of your student. Many of you will have a lot of questions and in that context I wish to add that you are at the right place. TITS, which is more than 75 years old, has revolutionized the education in the country for the last 7 years decades. If you look at the employment details of these students, you will notice that more than 80% of the two positions are occupied by TITS. Then uh, our strength lies particularly with the good and county faculty, good infrastructure, supportive administration, and beyond its all, our most talented and disciplined students. I am encouraged to share that TITS has always responded to the industrial needs with recommendable success. If you look at our vision, mission and core values you will see that our first and foremost core value is to build community learning. We at our institution, particularly in TITS, encourage our students to build a technical mindset and appreciate them to accept responsibility for their works, deeds and thoughts. We allow them freedom of expression but in a more discipline manner. Besides, TIT owes a unique culture and expect you individually to enrich it from. The student expect you all to be more disciplined and cultured. In closing, I wish to remind you that coming to TITS is not only about getting a good placement or good job, but it is rather a place for you to transform and explore. We therefore urge you all to set your goals, study hard, learn as much as you can. So I lastly wish to advise you to take the responsibility of your learning, take and make maximum use of your stay in the 80s and, and embrace difference. With these words, I look forward for your good learning experiences and hope to see you in campus soon. Thank you. So that was our worthy director, Professor G.K. Tyagi, a man of immense caliber and wisdom. Thank you so much, Professor Tyagi, for joining us. Dear students, now I will take you through a presentation on TITS Bhivani as an institution. When I say TITS as an institution, in this presentation, you will receive some crucial information. Crucial in the sense that the information provided in this presentation is going to be helpful to you over the next four years during your stay here. I request you to all, please pay complete attention. Through this presentation, you will come to know a lot of key people whom you will need at every step. Let's go and have a presentation on TITS Bhivani. Dear students, TITS has defied many storms and upheavals of time. 
As I said in the beginning, established in the year 1943, it has recorded a glorious journey of 77 years. It has served the nation in multiple ways. It was established by the great doyen of the Indian industry, late Dr. G. D. Birlaji, a great philanthropist of all times. Dr. G. D. Birla pioneered many great initiatives like Century Textile, Birla Jute, Birla Corporation, Birla Chemicals, Hindustan Times, Hindustan Motors, Yuko Bank, and many more. Dr. Birla was a great philanthropist. He envisioned infrastructural development, founded many educational institutions of repute, and contributed to the cause of art, culture, and education tremendous. He founded some of the great educational institutes. You are already familiar with the Technological Institute of Textile and Sciences, Bhivani. He founded Birla Institute of Technology and Science, Bilani, in the year 1964. Central Electronics Engineering Research Institute, Siri. Pilani was also founded by Dr. Birla. J.D. Birla Memorial School, Ranikhet. Birla School, Kalyan, Maharashtra. So these are some of the prominent educational institutes which were founded by Dr. Birla. The institute you have joined is one of the oldest engineering institutes. Dr. Bidla established TIT in 1943 to pioneer the cause of the education of hand and heart. And in its journey of more than 77 years, this institute has produced best class engineers heading many great industries across the globe. Almost in every textile mill, and other industries we have one or more alumni placed in. The vision of TITS is to become excellent knowledge enterprise and its mission is creation of center of excellence for learning in engineering and technology. TITS does not claim to be the best but it declares that it is one among the best. The core strengths of TITS are brand image, strong faculty pool, loyal and dedicated staff, high standard of ethics, strong research culture, and strong alumni network. Thus TITS fosters strong scientific and technical acumen topped by strong management acumen. As I said in the beginning, TITS has grown into a full-fledged institution from an institute which offered diploma in textile manufacturing when it started. You can see how TITS has grown from 1943 to 2020. In the year 1943, diploma in textile manufacturing was introduced and soon BTEC that is Bachelor of Technology came into being in 1952. The year 1971 saw the introduction of textile chemistry as one of its disciplines. Master of Technology in Textile Technology came in the same year that is 1971. The year 1986 saw introduction of two programs one undergraduate program that is BTEC Computer Engineering and one master's program that is Master of Management Studies and this Master of Management Studies continued until 1998 when it changed into Master of Business Administration that is MBA. In the year 2001 BTEC program in fashion and apparel engineering was introduced at TITS. In 2004, 
electronics and communication engineering came to be introduced here. M-Tech computer engineering came to be introduced in the year 2009. Master of Technology in Fashion and Apparel Engineering came to be introduced in the year 2010. We saw introduction of Mechanical Engineering for its BTEC program in the year 2014. And this very year, the Institute introduced Bachelor of Business Administration, that is BBA. So having served the nation for 77 years, that is right from 1943 to 2020, this institute has served many sectors of this country. This institute is headed by Professor G.K. Tyagi, a man of immense caliber and wisdom. As you can see on the slide, he has 37 years of academic experience he has 216 publications. He is a man of letters. You can look at his qualification, look at his achievements. It is explicit that Professor Tyagi is a well-grounded academician and while he is heading TITS, he takes care of each and every affair and he makes sure that in the course of his efforts, no stone remains unturned. Now let me introduce you to the heads of departments at TITS Bhivani. Professor S. K. Sharma heads the Department of Management Studies. It is a matter of pride that Professor Sharma has been a UGC Research Awardee. He has an experience of 37 years. Department of Textile Technology is headed by Dr. Ashwini Goel. It is a matter of pride for us that he is also an alumnus of this very institute. He has an experience of 20 years. Department of Textile Chemistry is headed by Mr. Sudarshan Malik. He has an experience of 32 years. Department of Fashion and Apparel Engineering is headed by Dr. K. N. Chatterjee. He has an experience of 37 years. Department of Computer Engineering is headed by Dr. Mukesh Sharma. Dr. Sharma has an experience of 16 years. Department of Mechanical Engineering is headed by Dr. Abhay Sharma. Dr. Sharma has an experience of 34 years. The Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering is headed by Mr. Kamal Sardana, he has an experience of 20 years. The Department of Applied Sciences and Humanities is headed by Dr. Amit Manocha. He has an experience of 18 years. Dear students, you must pay attention that Dr. Manocha is going to be your head of the department for first year. Now I would like to introduce you all to the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Humanities. Before I go ahead and introduce you with the Faculty of Applied Sciences and Humanities, let me tell you something about this department. The role of this department is crucial and central to the academic excellence of this institute. This department functions in a supporting way. It not only collaborates with other departments for subject teaching and project completion, but also boasts of a strong pool of teachers with sound academic ground, strong research acumen and competitive attitude. This department has played a significant role in the academic solidarity of this institute. The core strength of this department and thrust areas are strong mentoring system. The department frequently organizes seminars and conferences. A lot of emphasis is laid on research publications. The department has also completed some important projects funded by agencies like 
Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, University Grants Commission, All India Council of Technical Education, and so on. The pedagogy of the department rests in classroom lectures, presentations, group discussions, problem studies, learning games, outbound exercises, quizzes, extempore, etc. So you will have tremendous opportunities to groom yourself. Dr. Amit Manucha, as I said, he heads the Department of Applied Sciences and Humanities. You can see his years of experience, his publications, his conference and FDPs. Here FDP stands for Faculty Development Program. Every teacher is required to update himself or herself as per time and need. So the teachers at this institute believe in updating themselves as the time demands. And this is what reflects under FDPs, which is Faculty Development Program. The number reflecting under FDP reflects that the teacher has availed these many faculty development programs. That is, the teacher keeps on updating himself or herself. Dr. Anuka Thuria will teach you mathematics. She is an assistant professor with the Department of Applied Science and Humanities. She has an experience of 16 years. Dr. Anil Sachdeva will teach you physics. He has an experience of 16 years. Dr. M. K. Nanda is an assistant professor of communication skills. He will teach you communication skills and English. Dr. Jasmeet Korguman, she will also teach you communication skills and English. Ms. Lima Patnaik, she will teach you mathematics. Ms. Kritika Nagpal will teach you chemistry. The department, as I said, frequently organizes seminars and conferences, as you can see here in the slide. A lot of emphasis is laid on extracurricular activities also. These are some of the functions reflecting in these photographs, which are organized by the department. Cultural activities form an integral part of the culture of this department. Sports are also given a lot of importance, as you can see here our students participating in various sports activities. And as I also pointed out in the beginning, that we follow a very strong mentoring system. When you start attending your classes, you will be told in detail about this system, which is called mentoring system. The mentoring system is placed under a head mentor, which is of course your head of the department and he will nominate an associate head mentor and some mentors will be placed under associate head mentor and various student groups will be placed under mentors. So you will be assigned your mentor in course of time when you start taking your classes and you will be notified accordingly. Now let me introduce you to some of our key facilitators. Until now you don't know whom you are supposed to meet for what. I would request you to please pay attention. These facilitators are going to play an important role in your life here for the next four years. This is Mr. Pramod Kumar. He is our head of administration. He is a very approachable person. If you have any issues related to administration, you can approach Mr. Pramod Kumar. This is Mr. Ashok Gaba. He is assistant registrar with TITS Bivani. Anything related to your admission, your registration, your examination, your results, your mark sheets, he is the person who will address all these. Of course, he has some officers working under him. You can also contact some of these officers as per your need. 
once the institute opens you can go and meet all these officers in person but at the moment in case you have any query regarding registration or admission you can call the helpline every help will be extended so this is mr ashok gaba our assistant registrar finance and accounts are headed by our manager accounts mr ashwarya sharma mr vinod sharma is our accounts officer and mr daljit singh is taking care of our cooperative mess there are two separate mess for boys and girls in boys hostel the boys mess is located and in girls hostel the girls mess is located so mr daljit singh is taking care of the mess system at this institute you can contact him if you have any query related to mess this is mr rohit goel assistant professor with the department of electronics and communication he is taking care of awards and scholarships those students who are in the course of applying for a scholarship any kind of scholarship can contact mr rohit goel he is a very approachable person please feel no hesitation in case you have any query library and information services are are taken care of by these four gentlemen mr sanjay sharma is our assistant librarian mr ripunjay pande mr mukesh kumar and mr om prakash masta assist mr sanjay sharma in discharge of his day to day duty of libraries so when the institute opens you will meet these people in person any query related to library or issue of books or library card should be directed to mr sanjay sharma and he will help you in whatever way he can when i'm talking about library and information services let me tell you that this institute has three dedicated libraries the central library is meant for all first year students there is a dedicated library for students of textile technology textile chemistry and fashion and apparel engineering this library is called textile library there is a dedicated library for students of management studies that is the mba students and bba students they will visit mba library i'm sure some of you are going to stay in hostels you sh- so you should be familiar with these faces dr m kananda he will take care of the first year students in the boys hostel dr suman bhattacharya will take care of second year boys students dr abhay sharma will take care of the third year boys students dr amal choudhury will take care of the fourth year boys students and ms monika sharma assistant professor with the department of computer engineering will take care of the girls students now in addition to this we also have a hostel supervisor whom you can direct all your queries related to hostel is mr radesh amtawar you will be provided with his contact details once your classes start you have got a hostel supervisor that is ms suman mr pravin kumar is the person who takes care of all your medical affair in case you have a medical emergency or in case you are not feeling well you can contact mr pravin kumar he will answer all your queries related to medical emergency or health sports activities are taken care of by our officer in charge for sports mr umesh kumar sharma we have some committees which have been constituted in accordance with the guidelines received from authorities like all india council for technical education ugc honorable supreme court and so on the anti ragging committee is headed by dr abhay kumar sharma and the members of this committee are dr amit manocha mr pramod kumar dr ashwini goel dr jyoti choudhury mr satish khatak you can see their numbers reflecting on the right side of the slide if you have any query or concern you can contact one of these members if you are not satisfied you can 
go to the convener of this committee that is Dr. Abhay Kumar Sharma in addition to these members in order to run the operation of anti-ragging committee smoothly there are six additional squads four squads for boys students and two squads for girl students are there in place to monitor the anti-ragging activities the disciplinary committee is headed by professor s k sharma the members of the discipline committee are dr mukesh sharma dr ashwini goel mr kamal sardana dr yamini janji dr samriddhi tawar and mr satish khatak there is also a committee in place for addressing your grievances once you are joining this institute you might have some issues and your concerns will be addressed by this committee dr mukesh sharma is the convener of this committee and the members of this committee are mr pramod kumar mr satvika khanna dr nidhi sharma mr satish khatak and dr amit manocha we also have an anti sexual harassment committee which is headed by ms monica sharma and the members of this committee are dr shelly khanna dr amandeep kaur Mr Anil Yadav Mr Satish Khatak and we also have an expert member here Dr Rupender Ranga who is from a non government organization as the member of the the committee for SCSTs are headed by Mr Satish Khatak and the members of Mr Pramod Kumar and Ms Satvika Khanna so dear students these are some of the prominent committees which have been established to ensure your welfare at this institute if you have any queries or concern regarding anything any information given in this presentation please get back to us on the helpline provided to you if you have any additional queries or concern once you start attending your classes your teachers will help you in the best possible manner thank you for joining this presentation thank you so much have a wonderful day so that is all about TITS Bhivani and its facilitators now i would like to invite mr vishwagirdhar and ms manashvi sharma for a presentation on the clubs and societies at this institute i'll not say anything about the clubs and societies it's these senior students who will talk about the clubs and societies and the ways in which they function so please welcome Mr Vishwagirdha and Ms Manashvi Sharma Good morning to everyone present here my name is Vishwagirdha and I am the vice president of the Orator Society other than that I am also a final year student at TIT Bhimani Good morning everyone I am Manashvi and I am the coordinator at Orator Society as well as I am the pre final year student at computers department we all are gathered here to discuss a part of college life which is filled with enthusiasm energy and dedication we are talking about a phase in which we organize we create and at the same part we bond as well yes we are talking about societies but i guess understanding why there is a need to join the societies is even more important and you guys can consider that it is solely a big reason for this conduction as well working on yourself competing with others having a very healthy atmosphere is another part of the college life which we can say is even more fun as compared to that of academics so let's just focus on some points that why you should join a society essentially the number first point is understanding yourself and knowing yourself strengths weaknesses interests and goals these are some of the things which each and every single human being should focus upon and learning how to handle challenging situations and testing your knowledge is even more important knowing about yourself what you like what you don't like what you can really do and what you can't is even more important for understanding what kind of a future career one can have in professional life work ethics time management and communication enhance your role by participating in activities you can learn how to effectively interact with others broaden your skill set that's all what we learn in societies The next up is a well balanced experience. While focusing solely on the academics, one can score pretty good grades, all the A's and all the B's in different competitions and on the different assignments. 
but one has to understand what is the importance of having a personality personality also imbibes in each and every single culture each and every single organization where you go so i guess i can't say more than i can in total there are 12 societies in tit each and every society works in different domain and can give a totally new experience to you guys in total every society plays a vital role in enriching the atmospheric environment of tit so let's dive into the number of societies and every society in person the dramatic society dance singing and engaging each and every member in some cultural ethics is the core of the dramatic society providing everyone an opportunity to work in a team and present themselves on the stage is also another initiative which is created by the dramatic society only the dramatic society not only motivates people but also enriches them into various different activities which not only create their character but also gives them quite confidence top 6 is another important segment where top 6 boys and girls are selected on the basis of their performance the dramatic society usually prepares the act while welcoming the new faces that is freshers and farewell Here are some of the glimpses of the dramatic societies presenting at farewell and the freshers of the college. In the middle of the slide, you guys can easily see the different position holders or the post holders of the dramatic society. The next up we have is the editorial board also known as the ad board is the official society of our college. The major workings of this society comprises of different publishing tasks publishing the magazine publishing kriti publishing the newsletter of the of our college representing our college in the different domains through text or through the print media is the major concern so here are the some of the former post holders of the editorial board borges is a technocultural society which believes in versatility and the open mindedness of its people borges means journey and member of society have the same characteristics these are some of the instances where voyagers have proved themselves some of the workshops and some of the activities that they participate on a daily basis in the center of the screen you guys can see the two different representatives or the post holders of the voyager society the next up we have is the tit and has com- the computer society or also known as the tcs society This is the technical society of our college. It organizes various gaming events and other coding competitions as well. The other major factor is the HOD of the computer science department, Dr. Mukesh Kumar is also the mentor of this society. The competitions including the PUBG gaming competition and other slackware is also organized by this society. So here you can see TC society organizing the PUBG event and various other event in the society and on the center you can see the post holders of the tc society the other society that we have is mavericks mavericks related to cs and it department the main agenda of the society is to work on aptitude and technical skills of the members faculty of cs department are the mentors of the society who work very hard in order to come up with new opportunities for the students Here you guys can see the different workshops and the different agendas of Mavic Society. They have also organized industrial workshops and several other aptitude sessions as well. In the center of the screen you guys can see the five different post holders of the Mavic Society, the Electronica Society. This society addresses electrical and communications branch of our college. They organize various lab training sessions, workshops in the electrical department. The people who are enthusiastic about learning various electrical components are and organizing workshops can surely look forward to join Electronica. Here you guys can see the members of the Electronica Society and the glimpses of the events organized by the Electronica Society. And at the center, you can see the various post holders of the society. The Zoom Society is one of the technical society of the college. It handles various internal and external events of the institute. Members of the faculty of the CS department are the mentors of the society. 
It organized various excursion events also, and its major agenda is to building up of the peer-to-peer -peer relationship among its society members. Here are some of the glimpses of the orate of the Ozone Society presenting their views and their events in the college. QR Ka War is also one of the major events organized by the Ozone Society. In the center of the screen, you guys can see there are four different post holders of the Ozone Society. The next up is You Create Society. Well, this society is a new opening in the premises of our college. Promoting the education and the creativity among the members of the college is the major agenda of this society. Other than that, this society also imbibes a strong foundation among the members. You guys can easily see the two different post holders who are currently the final year members. The next up we have is a You Create. Well, this society is a new opening in our college premises. Promoting education and the creativity among the peers or the students is the major agenda of this society. Other than this, this society also focuses on creating a strong foundation among its members. <laughs> you guys can easily see that the two that there are two different post holders in the society who are mentioned below. The next up we have is the soft society. Another technocultural society of the fashion department. It is for the overall development of the students. It conducts various seminars, workshops and guest lectures. Here you can see the soft society presenting their art pieces in the 75 year celebration of our college, the Platinum Jubilee. Orita Society is one of the most celebrated and pragmatic society of the college. It focuses on personality development, literature and enhancement of communication skills. It is also considered as the Garden of Eden. Here are a glimpse of what Orator Society does on a day-to-day -day basis. Organizing regular meetings, debates and group discussions is just a start. Where we are discussing about these things, we also organize Women's Day event and several other events in the college only. We also try to emphasize fun and enjoyment among our members by organizing cricket matches. Those are also known as the Orators Premier League. Going to the various schools and organizing a Blooming Beyond Books program is another great event started by the Orator Society. Exciting parties, regular mock interview sessions and creating an overall setup for the members to grow and to emphasize their part on the personality is very important as we can say is the core of the society. Other than that, we also visit various fests and concerts. We have also visited quite a number of colleges in the past and have gathered there as a community. We have even stood there as a community. As a vice president of the society, I can say that we work very hard and very dedicatedly with the each and every single member of our society in order to grow the society and grow as an individual as well. Other than that, Creating role plays, extempore and word building are just even a start. We assure you that as a personality, you, got, you guys are going to face a lot of competitions. You guys are going to go through a very tough time, but this is just for your own growth. So guys, here you can see the various events organized by the Rita Society, the cricket match and extempore competitions organized by the society. At the center, you can see the post holders of the Rita Society. So that is all with the different societies in present in our college. I am sure this uh, would give an insight to you that what happens while organizing an event or while going through an event in the college and also it will tell you about the different societies. Other than that, I would request you all to please give us a like and please follow us on the various social media handles that is being presented. Our social media handle at Instagram and at uh, Facebook is Orators Official and Orators specifically. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. And we hope to see you in one of the societies very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vishu. And thank you so much, Manasvi, for making this beautiful presentation on clubs and societies at the TITS Bivani. Dear students, now I will take you through a snippet of this campus. I'm sure this is going to give you a lovely experience. Please join me.
So, how was it? I'm sure you must have found it good. Definitely. So that is all we have from here on this day of induction, dear students. Your classes are going to start on October the 12th, that is Monday. Please visit the website of the Institute and download your timetable. Your login IDs for Microsoft Teams are being sent to you through SMS and WhatsApp as well. In case of any query, any difficulty, please call the helpline given in there. Thank you so much for joining us. All the best. But yes.